Welcome to Pet Pals TV. A new kitty is always a challenge, especially if they have some story, some history, I should say. Joining us today is Pet Pals TV kitty correspondent KJ Glenn, and she's here with Grayson. <laughs> so cute. And in just a few moments, we'll talk about Dora and the challenges of finding cats new homes after experiencing time as being stray. First, let's take a quick look at life in a shelter and finding a new home. That you're scared, but you're going to be safe. you got to trust that, okay? She says, I've been so hungry. It is KJ, your kitty correspondent, and I am at Indie Humane with Dora, the explorer. Uh, thank you for taking Dora in after she found us. Absolutely. <laughs> We're very happy. We're grateful we had the room for her because she is such a sweetheart. Uh, she is a fabulous little girl. Clearly was not meant to be an outdoor cat. Absolutely not. Just waiting for my forever home. I was wondering if today was going to be that day. Look how cute I am. What are you still doing here, young lady? She says, I don't know. I just smile and I smile and I smile. And then nobody's coming to get me. The greatest day ever. Dora's going home with her mom. She says, I'm having a meal first. <laughs> Mindy, how excited are you right now? I, I'm a little overwhelmed uh, with, like, joy. So Yay! I, I um, hold my emotions in pretty good, so we'll probably have a little cry in the car on the way home. <laughs> I'm just very much looking forward to having her home. Wow, that is so amazing. I, I truly got a little bit tear, uh, tearful I there. Know. I was getting all <laughs> emotional again. I mean, it was, you, you know, that was like the quick version, but it was a, it was a full month of Dora showing up on our door. And then, you know, what was amazing is that with, you know, with Pet Pals TV, I work with Indie Neighborhood Cats, Indie Humane, other groups to refer people when they say, what do I do? I found a cat. And so to be in that situation and be like, okay, now I need to take the, the responsible steps and what to do. Wow. It, it was really, um, it was an interesting experience that I'm happy to say ended with a forever home for Dora. That's amazing. And, and really, Dora's a story, is it very common? It is. Unfortunately, it is, it is so common. And with the shelters and rescue so full right now, it's really on us, the pet lovers, when we come across a stray, to take these steps to see if we can find the owner, to see if they are fixed, if they are in need of medical care. And, you know, and with cats, um, you know, if they can live outside, we actually really tried to see if, if Dora could be happy outside. And when it became very apparent in, a, in an emergency that she needed help, that's when Indie Neighborhood Cats and Indie Humane just mobilized and were like, yes, let's help this girl. Wonderful. And just to wrap up real quick, for our viewers, what can they do if they find a stray cat? Yeah, so the steps that, you know, were just on screen there, they're the ones I took. You want to make sure they have food and water. You want to check that microchip, which is so easy. You can take them into a vet. They will scan it for free. And we just had one earlier this week that uh, a microchip scan reunited them with the family. So if that doesn't work, um, and you are concerned and they need a place or you need help uh, making sure that they have food and water and medical care, you want to reach out to Indie Neighborhood Cats. They have a form on their website, Indie Humane, if you really feel like you need to surrender or animal care services. But right now, if you can take that those steps and help that cat that's outside, you're making a difference for that cat and taking some of the, the burden off of the shelters. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you, Grayson. Yes, thank you for having us. <laughs> of course. And you can watch Pet Pals TV on Saturdays at 1030 right here on Wish TV.